tryna be on top of the totem pole. The boy never stopped though they told him no. I'm tryna be on top of the totem pole. The boy never stopped though they told him no. What's up today, my fellow Madden soldiers? Right now, what we're gonna get into is I'm gonna tell you how I became a millionaire on a no money spend team in practically 10 days. I went back to see my last video when I actually went down to like 1,000 coins and it was on my 95, 94 OVR no money spent team. Meaning that that's when I got a 94 OVR and that's what it's called. It has a big 94 on it and it says no money spent team, 94 OVR. So anyways, I went there and I seen and, and I ended up buying players or doing certain things and I ended up went, going down to 1,000 coins. And from that time on to here, it's been 10 days. So for in 10 days, I became a millionaire. Let me tell you how I did it right now. The first thing I did was this. I went right here. Let's go right here. Which you guys are all, it's nothing, no, no secret, but it's just the way I went about it. Okay, where is it at? Oh, here. So each time you level up, which, which uh, I was like level 70 something at the time or 70. I don't know what it was, but anyways, level up packs I got. I end up pulling full legends and then uh, big legend, ultimate, oh, full legends. I mean, ultimate legends, ultimate legend and ultimate legend pieces, like big pieces. I sold those pieces off and I made about, I think 400,000 coins. I forgot how much it was, but it was quite a bit. Another thing I did too was it's not here no more, but basically there was a objective in here is when you, when you, when you get a 95 OVR, you win eight games or 12 games whatever the case may be i wanna i got twenty thousand for winning the 12 games and then i got another hundred and fifty thousand for completing the objectives so i that's how that's how i got those coins okay another thing is it was only like 50 something thousand coins but anyways i completed the new journey wherever it's at okay here we go i completed this journey you, you i think you got like fifty six thousand coins as well as packs However, in those inside those packs, I pull some glitchy pulls. I pull some elite, but I also pull. If you go back and check one, uh, check one of the the, the rewards or whatever, I pull the Brian Scherf or whatever. I forget how you pronounce his name. He's the eighty-four OVR right guard, and he was a platinum player or platinum card, or whatever. And he was an eighty thousand quick sell. So I quick sold him in the video. Like later on in the video, I ended up quick selling him. So I got I got coins from that. Then I got other coins from Journey Packs, and then I sold some players out the packs. Of course, I already spoke about the level up packs and how I, and how I, pulled Ultimate Legends in the pieces and sold those. And another thing too is remember, every every day, once you hit what was like level seventy, you get daily quick sells. Before that and after level seventy, you get seventy five hundred guaranteed every day. And before that, I think it was like five thousand or something like that guaranteed every day of a quick sell. So. Majority of the times I got 7,500. There was a few times I think I got like 25,000, whatever the case may be. I don't record it when I get that much. If I were to pull like 50,000 to 100,000 quick sells, then I would save it just so you guys see that, hey, you know, I got these coins from the quick sell. But when it's like 7,500, 20,000, like I just I just quick sell it and that's that. But I, I got a, a couple, I mean, I got quick sells every day, but then I think I got like once or twice, I got like 25,000. But it added to it, but it wasn't significant, but it did add to it. So think about it in 10 days, 70, did it say I got 7,500 coins every day for 10 days? That's a close to most 100,000 coins I got. And then uh, another thing we're here too. Let's go back to this. Did I forget them? Okay, this here. Okay, not this. This is for the smash. Where is it at? Oh, here. There's weekly objectives, right? So you get a player friend, you get 5,000 coins and so forth. You know, you get make coins for completing these objectives. So I got I got coins from that. Okay, here's another thing right here that I I completed two yesterday. I'm gonna show you right now. Here it is. You completed the 1K passing touchdowns. Okay, I got 20 20 thousand coins or 25 thousand coins. I forgot how much I got, but I got a, a big chunk of coins for completing this. And then I got see that's the player friend. Here we go. Then I got one for 1.5 total touchdowns uh com objective complete 1.5 i mean uh thousand whatever touchdowns completed so i got like 20k from that okay so with all that i was able to make oh the last one which was the last video i came out with 
we, 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 we can, like I said, you get a lot of stuff, man, from playing these solos for getting packs because you never know what you're going to pull. So from this Smash pack, if you guys didn't see it, I got the 94 OVR. It was auctionable. So he went for like 15,000, I think, was it picks or, uh, yeah, there were picks. I had 15,000 picks. I already had, what, like 20,000 picks. So I quick sold him and I ended up going to the 97 OVR set. So let's go to it. I'm going to show you right now. So you guys see it here. I got one of these auctionable 97 OVR random players. I ended up pulling Ben Roethlisberger. Sold him for 108,000 coins. Made about, what, 160,000 off of that. So all that added together, I ended up with a million coins. That's how it became a millionaire. Just grinding it out. I didn't do anything special. Just grind it out. Grind it out what they gave me, which is the level up packs, the solos. And I just saved the coins up, up until I make a best decision on what I'm going to do with them. So I have an idea of what I'm going to do with the coins. That will be the next video coming up. But the but the thing is, look at it. Oh, this is another thing. I, okay, so they got these every day. 10,000 coins, okay? It's it's 3,400 3, picks every day. This is actually a, a, a good come up because you get an 88 OVR, all right, for I think you pound for like 17,000 coins. And I think they're only quick sell for like 2,000 picks or whatever the case. Whatever it is, it's a small amount. So this every day, so we'll say 3,400, 3,400 every day. We'll say like what, 10 days or whatever the case may be. Well, that's like almost 3,400, 10 days, you have about a free, okay, 100,000 coins. You'll say you have a basic free 97 OVR player for 100,000 coins. So think about that. If you guys been doing them, you guys can actually go to this set right here, buy it every day for 10,000 coins, quick sell them. And then once you have, within 10 days, you'll have a free 94, a, a 97 OVR. I mean, not a free, but a, a, a 97 OVR player for 100,000 coins. And you can actually sell the 97 OVR like I did once I, I went to the set and uh, got pulled Ben Roethlisberger out of it earlier. And I sold them fast. I put them for 800,000 coins and I sold them for, I think I got the profit was like 160,000. So stuff like that that you got to do in order to, to make coins and really pay attention. Like basically just really pay attention to what they're give, giving you. Like right now I had to go back and I had to research to see what, what I really want to do with this team because I don't want to be left broke. And if I do be left broke with coins, I want to make sure that this team is vicious by the time I do. But like I said, I got a few ideas that, a few ideas in mind and a few things that I'm most likely going to do to, to bring this team to fruition and really make it pop out and really make it, really really bring its ovr up and get the players that i need without having to really lose a lot like i probably won't even lose that much but whatever i lose i'm telling you right now i'm gonna have, i'm gonna gain more than anything so that's really what the what the goal is yeah so i'm, I'm really enjoying this it, it was it was yeah it was i was able to accomplish this and show you this with the with the no money spent team becoming a month millionaire on it 10 days they would accomplish that goal and i'm satisfied with it like i said the main thing is really pay attention to the game really we'll see what it has to offer be patient don't don't hurry up and spend your coins and make the best decision what you got to do with your team because you oh what people do is they get they get coins they get all these coins they want to go buy the best player or, and stuff like that and sometimes you got to understand like the 98 ovrs 97 ovrs more more players come out a lot of these players are going to go down so don't be quick to buy these players eventually they're going to go down and you'll be able to make the best decision for your team, get them for cheap and, and save you coinage. There's no hurry. As long as you have a really a 90 OVR will help you win games. But if you have a 95 OVR, that's decent enough to, to beat anybody that, that plays Madden. Like seriously. So don't be don't be in a hurry to to quickly boost up your team. I'm not definitely well, I was with this with this no money spent team because I want to see how fast I can build it. But that's really what it is. Like from now, from here on forth, like really, I don't even have to build this team up more. But I really want to go online and continue to compete or whatever, like the case may be. I got a pretty decent team in order to do that. However, I got a no money spent team, and my goal here right now is just to build up the team as far as I can to show you guys what I could get it up to with a no money spent team. So that's why I keep on building on and adding to this team for you guys, not for me, but for you guys to show you what what I could do with this no money spent team. So just keep that in mind. So. It's good. Like I said, I don't discourage you not to continue to build your team. Yeah, build your team. But what I'm trying to say is that do not be in a hurry to spend your coins. Just be patient and know that the players will come that you want 
I had a better at a better deal, better price later on. And it, it, just give it a week or so, and and you'll get the player you want for a decent amount. If for some reason it don't go down, then go ahead. At least you're like, okay, well, whatever. You might or 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 even so, they might come out with another player that you really want, and now you have the coins to do it because you're always in a hurry to get that one player. What people do, they end up buying a player that they want. And then a week later, another player comes out. They end up selling that one. So in the end, they they really end up losing. They really end up losing. So just be patient, and really think about the how you want to build your team. But anyways, I'm gonna leave it here for now. The goal was to show you I became a month millionaire in ten days, and it's not that complicated. You guys could do the same thing too. Just be patient. Really, really look at the game and see what it has to offer, and strategize, and then go from there. Like I said, if you guys ain't sub, sub to the channel. Like the video if you like what you've seen. Comment below. Tell me what you'd like to see how, or, 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 or what's becoming of your team. Until next time, man, you guys all have a nice day. I'm out.